Tony from Home of Pumps here in Ansonia, Connecticut. Uh, today we're going to go over profile gaskets in our uh, guide claws, and we're going to do the two inch and six inch and eight inch and above. You'll be able to find and follow along if you want by printing our documents that we have on our website at homeofpump.com. And so if you want to take a couple minutes to do that, we'll get set up and we'll begin showing you how to replace the profile baskets. Welcome back. I hope everybody was able to print something off. If not, again, you can see it. We'll follow along and we'll start doing the two inch uh, profile gasket. You can see we have a profile gasket here. We have a small diameter and then we have a wider diameter. Well, wider diameter always goes down into the claw up through six inch. So that edge there is actually going to go down into here. We recommend that you use a weather stripping by 3M. The profile gasket will stay in place without it, but if you're having issues or anything, we can use this and it works fantastic. Then you can just pick this up at your local hardware store on your own. We don't provide it. So what I would do is I'd put a small film of the stripping onto this surface that's going to set down into the claw. Once I have that in there, I'm going to start working this in in one corner, and then I'm going to press it in with my thumb until it seats, and then I'm going to push it down in. All right, we're back, and we're going to tack the eight inch and above profile gasket. We just finished the two to six inch, if you remember, and now we'll go over here and we'll take a look at this eight inch that we have. And I just want to show you the difference between the two profile gaskets. If you look at the smaller profile gaskets, there was actually a flat and a lip there that went down into the claw. If you look at this one, you have a wider side and you have a narrower side. If you were to look at the instructions, the instructions are telling us to take a pair of calipers to distinguish which one's wider and which one's narrower. I'm going to assume that most field technicians don't have that in their back pocket when you're at it over a wet well and you're replacing this. So you can see it. It's pretty pronounced which one's the wider and which one's the narrower. The wider side, again, always goes down into the claw. When we do this, because it is a bear to get it in, I won't, won't try to tell you that it's easy, we add a little bit of soap regular dish soap. You can just add it to this surface to make it a little bit easier to go into here. We've already added some here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to get this installed. We're going to need, again, a soft faced mallet to help in this process. And we're going to try to get an edge to start down in and we're going to tap it. Again, you can see it doesn't go really, but now if you look, it's starting to go in. And we're just going to try to work our way around. And I'm working it with my fingers to get it into place. And you can see here it's starting to fall into place. I don't want to come over here. I want to just continue to work both sides until I get to this point. Now, you can see it's pretty much all the way down. I'm going hit it again just to make sure it's all seated. And our profile gasket's installed. In concluding our video today, I just want to... Uh Emphasize that if either profile gasket goes in too easily, we're probably installing them upside down. So make sure that the wider edge is always down on eight inch and above, and the wider lip is always down going into the claw on two inch through six. So that's going to end our video for today. Uh, please come back soon and see what other exciting uh, service videos we're going to have.
Thank you for watching. I hope everybody got something out of this one.